Hi everyone! I'm like already gonna cry. <laughs> but I um, really wanted to do a video with my new little puppy Effie. Because she's so cute. <laughs> and I already love her so much. And as you can see, we're very cozy right now. Super comfortable. Um, it's been an interesting couple of days with her, but I'll get more into that later. I guess I just wanted to answer any questions you guys might have about Effie because obviously I adopted her through Wild at Heart Foundation, which is an amazing charity that basically goes around the world and saves dogs that are either stray or have been abused or are in need of a new home. They're an amazing charity and I've done a podcast with the founder, Nikki Tibbles. Um, so if you want to check out my podcast with her, I'll have it linked down below. Um, as you all know, my beloved Reggie passed away um, a little while ago and I I actually can't even talk about him because I'm so emotional. Like I am a mess. Um, but I really realized that I cannot live without a dog and I've spent a long time grieving him and even before he passed away he's been really sick he was really sick so I spent a long time grieving him and um, you know I was just really down and I love dogs I've always had dogs and it felt like the right time to adopt another dog and um, I know a lot of you guys might have questions like, why didn't you get another Greyhound? And the answer is honestly that it, it, it was too hard. I knew that if I got another Greyhound, I would be constantly reminded of Reggie. And I'm not really able to live like that because I already think about him so much. So I wanted to get a different type of dog. There are lots of different dogs out there who need our love and support. And I was speaking to Nikki Tibbles from Wild at Heart Foundation. She was like, we need to find you a dog. I think you're ready for another dog. And she showed me a bunch of pictures. But when I saw the picture of little Effie, I, my heart just skipped a beat. I knew she was the dog for me. She is so cute and she's blonde. And I just love her so much already. Um, but anyway, so Effie is from Greece. She's from just outside Lesbos in Greece and um, her story is basically that her and her siblings were found on the side of a road, stray dogs, and um, that's pretty much the story. Um, she's around five and a half months old right now, so she's really teeny tiny. And I had to wait around a month or two um, to get Effie because she obviously needed certain vaccinations and there's a lot of paperwork to get a dog from Greece to the UK. And there's a whole process when you're adopting a dog that you do a home check. They make sure your home is safe and, you know, good for a dog and that a dog could be happy there. And, you know, when you're adopting a dog, you're rescuing a dog, there are certain behavioral things that you need to be aware of. Um, I was aware of a lot when I got Reggie, but she's already been so different than Reggie. Um, they just take a little bit of extra love and a little extra care because they're scared and you know, she had a really big day of traveling. She was on an airplane and then she went on a ferry from Calais to London. So she had a really big day just two days ago. She's like, where am I and what are all these surroundings? So have to be really careful about that. A lot of people have already asked me how I decided on the name Effie and I can't take any credit for it. She was already called Effie. The shelter called her Effie. Um, and I just saw the name Effie and I instantly loved it. It reminded me a bit of Reggie, but a little bit different. Um, so she's Effie Lalonde, <laughs> my little princess. Let's go back to the night that I actually picked Effie up. So like I mentioned, she had a really long journey and we met her at a service station just Kind of near Gatwick Airport which doesn't sound the most glamorous but the dogs have had such a long day and honestly it's just like the quickest place to for everybody to meet and, and collect their dogs um, so I saw the van pull in and I immediately just like got so emotional because honestly it's there are a lot of emotions I'm obviously so excited to get her but also you know I have some I wouldn't call it guilt about getting another dog but you know 
I had Reggie from, I am so emotional already. I had Reggie for many years and I love him and still love him. So I just didn't want, I don't know. There was just, I was dealing with a lot of emotions basically. Um, but also a lot of it was excitement. And I can honestly say, I don't remember the last time I felt that emotional in an excited way. Like it just felt so pure, <laughs> if I can say it like that. And the van pulled in and I went with a friend of mine and the friend of mine looked in the van and said, oh my God, she's so cute. And I was too scared to look. And then as soon as I looked inside the van and I saw her there, I instantly just started crying and like knew that I would love her forever and ever. And it just felt so right. So I'm going to insert some footage from that evening. And I, you will see if you didn't already see it on Instagram that I was an emotional wreck. <laughs> I'm just about to leave to go collect my little puppy girl. Um, I'm like literally so excited. I don't know how I got through the day today because I'm picking her up at 10 o'clock at night um, and it's around 8.30 now so heading over there. Um, I'm picking her up at a service station near the airport. Um, it's just the easiest place where everyone can go and collect their dogs and I am so excited. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've got a few things for her. I've got her lead, I have some water and some treats. And earlier today, I went and bought her first toy, this little elephant, which is so cute. <laughs> it's actually a, ba a baby toy, but I just thought it would be perfect for her. So, all right, so I guess it's time to go. I see the van. <laughs> I just, I can't do this. This is crazy. This is too much. I'm literally so emotional. That's literally the van pulling up. I'm trying not to act crazy. I'm so emotional. All right, guys, we'll be here in a minute. It's been a long road, but a long road for them. And they don't understand. Come on, baby. They're going to nubby homes, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love her. Okay. No meds. Yeah. There you go. No, I don't think so. You're all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's little Effie. Pictures. Like I'm like crazy, but it's just so emotional. She's so perfect. She's so sweet. Okay. Oh, Effie. Obviously, she was very, very scared. Um, and it probably didn't help it to have some crazy crying lady, but I could, I could not help it. That was like uncontrollable <laughs> sobbing and ugly crying which I laugh at a lot now but anyway um so yeah she she was nervous of course um it was her first time in the UK and um I just held her in my arms the entire way home and as soon as we got home she just ran right under my bed and pretty much stayed there the entire night and I was talking to the foundation obviously the whole time being like is that okay and they were like it's fine it's normal just let her come to you and that's pretty much what I've been doing she really likes it under the bed um, or under my couch because I think she's I mean she's a stray dog at the end of the day and I think if they would hear a noise they would just get scared and hide and that's kind of how they survived so she's getting used to wandering around a little bit but I think it's gonna be a journey and I was talking to a friend of mine and she was like oh my god you're so brave to adopt a rescue dog and I was like why um, and she was basically because you don't know what you're gonna get and you don't know how to interact with them and all that stuff and I understand why people think that but like she's so gentle she's so beautiful and all all she needs is a little bit of extra patience you know and I'm very willing to be patient with her because she is so cute and I love her 
Um, so I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for adopting animals and if you're thinking about getting a dog, I highly, highly recommend adopting a dog because there are so many of them who need homes and whether it's a greyhound or another type of dog or a cat, there are just so many who need homes. But anyways, um, back to Effie. She's doing great. She loves Lily's Kitchen dog food. <laughs> she's getting the fancy stuff because she's a princess. <laughs> and she likes treats. And yeah, she's doing okay. I asked on Instagram if you had any questions. So I'm just going to answer a few of the Instagram questions now. Why is she so cute? I don't know. Oh, I should probably say what kind of dog she is. Um, so she's a Kokoni, which is a Greek breed. It's spelled K-O-K-O-N-I. And they're, uh, basically they're adorable, um, as you can tell. I don't think she's going to get too much bigger. Um, they're apparently just like very calm dogs. They don't bark often. Um, they're very friendly, but they can be a bit nervous at first. But they're like home dogs. They're just like really chill dogs. And that's great. She's so soft, guys. Like she literally feels like a baby bunny and she smells so cute like a little puppy her little puppy breath i woke up to her licking my face this morning and if there's any of you out there who are like that's disgusting no it's not you don't belong here because i was literally like that's so cute <laughs> um so yeah we've had a we've had some bonding together Another question is, where will she go when you travel? So um, I used to travel, honestly, like all the time. I haven't been anywhere in a while and I don't really plan on traveling as much. Um, I enjoy being in London, it's my favorite city in the world. So I don't really plan on traveling as extensively as I once did. Um, but also just like anyone else who has a dog, she can just stay with a friend, you know? and. I think she'll be happy to do that. I have so many people in my life who already love her so much. She's giving kisses. Actually, when I, before I adopted her, I got an email a bit about like what she's like and they were like, she loves giving kisses and she really does love getting, giving kisses. Good girl. Someone asked me if I think about Reggie when I see her. In a way, I do think about Reggie when I see her. But honestly, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but she has similarities to Reggie, like her eyes and just her demeanor is a bit like Reggie, and I think that's really beautiful. Um, I think Reggie would be very happy that I decided to get another dog and give another doggo a chance to live a comfortable life. So I think about Reggie when I see her, but really in positive ways. Someone asked me if it's hard to get approved for the adoption process, and I mean, it is a bit of a process, but if you're somebody who wants a dog and you are able to care for a dog, then of course you're going to be accepted. They just have a few questions like, do you, you know, do you have an office job? Will you have to leave her for more than four hours a day? Which I luckily don't, I work from home, so I, I can be around her all day. Um, so they just have kind of like standard questions like that. Um, but it's really more educational, I found, just them kind of telling you what you can expect from a rescue dog. So I think if you're someone who is prepared to have a dog, I don't think it would be hard to get accepted. As far as her adjusting, like I mentioned, she's she's doing well, but she's still, you know, she's she's nervous, I'm not gonna lie. So I've just been trying to be really quiet around her, making her feel super comfortable, speaking softly, all of that stuff. But the current problem we're having right now, Missy, is that she doesn't want to pee. She's nervous to pee. Um, she hasn't peed since last night at around 8.30, and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So I've been in touch with the foundation, and they said that it can be that can be a normal thing. Um, but so it's just like little things like that, just getting her comfortable enough to do bodily functions and stuff. Um, she did pee in my bed on the first night, which of course I didn't mind. Um, it's kind of to be expected, but I was just so glad she peed. I was like, I can wash these sheets, but I'm just glad you're comfortable now. We're really just taking everything very slowly, so there's no rush, and exactly like when she hides under the bed, I just have to be patient and let her come to me, 
And I assume that if she had to pee really badly, she would just pee. You know, I'm not, I'm not holding her down or anything, so I'm just letting her do her own thing. Someone said, how do you get on with your work when you have a dog at home? Honestly, it's hard. Um, I spent the entire weekend literally doing nothing. I didn't even shower on Sunday because I didn't want to leave her side. <laughs> so we just spent the afternoon and the whole day in bed. Um, but today is a regular work day and I just want to stare at her all day, but I can't. I have things to get on with. Um, but of course giving her lots of attention and cuddles in between. I'm glad I'm not the only one who wondered what her zodiac sign was because a few of you guys asked me on Instagram and honestly when I looked it up I was like I am officially losing it. Um, but Effie is a cancer which is one of my favorite signs because my mom is a cancer, my brother is a cancer and it kind of makes sense that she's a cancer because she's you know, a little bit nervous on the outside and she's got this like kind of outer shell maybe, but she's so sensitive. I already know she's just like such a sensitive little sweetheart and I just think she's going to be, I think it's going to be so rewarding being her dog mom because the, the amount she's already come out of her shell in just a, the past couple days is huge. So yes, she's a little cancer because she was born in July and I love her a little sensitive. A little sensitive soul um what else can i tell you guys as far as how much she cost i know a lot of people wondered how much it costs to adopt a dog um it varies depending on what dog you're getting like from where um so i can't really advise on that um but i really would recommend listening to the podcast with nikki tibbles where we talk a lot more about the adoption process and also why um, the dogs are rescued from abroad because of course there are lots of dogs here in the UK who need help too uh, but all of those types of questions are answered in the podcast. I've never had a girl dog before so this is a first but yeah I mean like I said when I saw her I instantly knew she was the one I didn't ask any questions I was like yes that's my dog and and now that I'm looking at her little blonde eyelashes I am so over the moon in love with her she's just so perfect i think that's pretty much it as for the initial questions a lot of people had about effie um she's doing great it's gonna be you know a little while till she's super bouncy and comfortable although she was playing with her little toy this little elephant last night which she loves um well she doesn't love it but she likes it <laughs> Um, so I think I'll end the video here. She does have Instagram if you want to follow her. In less than 24 hours, she got over 20,000 Instagram followers, which is insane. But she's so cute. I, I don't blame 20,000 people for wanting to follow her. Her Instagram is at doggo named Effie if you want to follow her. And I think that's it. It's time for her to go have another nap. <laughs> she's so sweet. I just feel so happy and complete again. Dogs are so healing and they're just so loving and I am so happy to have her in my life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Effie a little bit better, a little teeny tiny girl. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Plenty more footage of Effie and loads of pictures to come. I'd love you to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have a dog and what your dog's name is. I'd love to just read a little bit about your dogs. So leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Effie. She's like, I'm too tired. <laughs>